Okay, so let's also look at number 11 here. Uh, again, we're doing linear systems with substitute, uh, excuse me, elimination, linear systems with elimination, because both equations are in standard form, and see how both x and y are on the left and the constants are on the right? Perfect. And again, with elimination, it makes it really easy when the two terms are inverses of each other. So negative 2 and positive 3 are inverses, but negative 8 and positive 8 and y are inverses. Perfect. Let's add them together. So negative 2 plus 3 is just 1x. Negative 8 plus positive 8 is 0y. And 14 plus negative 21 is negative 7. So the 0y is eliminated, and 1x equals negative 7, so that just means x equals negative 7. Perfect. That was real easy. Wow, that didn't take much effort at all. All right, so now we have x. We have to find y. So we're going to plug that x. We'll do it in the top one. Again, as I showed you in another video, it doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. So I'll pick the top one. Why not? So negative 2 times negative 7 minus 8 times negative, oh, excuse me, times y equals 14. Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. So 14 minus 8y equals 14. Okay, let's go ahead and subtract 14 from both sides. And I get negative 8y equals 0. Again, that's all right. We still have our variables, so let's keep going. Divide by negative 8. Because it doesn't matter what you divide 0 by, it's still going to be 0. So my final answer for number 11 is negative 7, 0. All right, there's how you do elimination.